Raider K0, is that K0? Yeah, for IQT, what is the advantage of a long wire antenna and can it be too long? Must have a lot of space. <laughs> can it be too long? Uh, I know that um, uh, there's a there's a station here in Australia who runs a long wire at. He's got quite a large, quite a large um, property, and he's his long wire. He uses it for all sorts of bands. So I'm I'm not really familiar with long wires. I don't. I've never had the space. I've never experimented with them. Um, what about you guys? We have a guy that um, that has joined our field day. Well, he's a member of our club. And he's come out to field day two or three, four years in a row. And he's got a 20 meter 1.5 wave antenna, mm -hmm. which I would, I would, I would call that a long wire because mm -hmm. that's what it is. It's, it's just a wire. Um, mm. And I don't know what kind of matching unit or anything like that or balloner he has on the, on the bottom of it. I'm not sure of the design, but he has a 20 meter 1.5 wave. So it's basically 60 meters long, roughly. Um, <clears throat> or no, I'm sorry. Um, 45, 45 no. meters long. Yeah. For, I'm, I can't math meters. today. Don't, don't math on camera folks. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So like, uh, yeah. So like 40 meters long or, or no, uh, 30, 30 meters long, 30 meters, 30 long. meters long. Yeah. So, um, but it's basically one and a half times the wavelength. Cause generally you want to use a half wavelength. So if you're, if you're on the 20 meter band, you want to use a 10 meter antenna. 10 meter long antenna. If you want a 40 meter band, you want to use a 20 meter long antenna. Usually this one was like, um, um, uh, one and a half times the wavelength. So it was 30 meters long. And, and he used it all field day weekend. He did it like two years in a row. And my understanding was it, it, it worked great, but it was a better receive antenna. I mean, it didn't put him out any farther. He was using a hundred Watts and <clears throat> he did some single sideband, some CW. But he was able to hear a lot farther because there's just more surface area on the wire. Um, and that was that was kind of the thing. But you know, the term long wire Hayden can kind of mean anything. So I would I would I would go back to the to the question and say, what do you mean by long wire? I mean, when what, I think what of what long wire, mean? yeah, when I think of long wire, I'm thinking of the lower bands, 160 meters and below, sort of six thirty meters. I'm not sure if you've got that band over there, but we do. We've got six thirty meters. So we do. That's very long. Um, so, I'll tell yeah, you my but, I'll tell you my six thirty meter story here in a minute when you let me. Yeah. Oh well, go ahead now. All right. So we uh, three or four years ago, um, six hundred thirty meters was an experiment. It took an, a special experimental license in the USA, and um, a couple of guys I knew got it, and it was kind of fun to to watch. I never got it, but I was kind of fun to, to 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 listen to their stories. Well, we went down to Costa Rica for de expedition. Which, if the if the if the travel ban ever lifts, I want to get a bunch of you YouTubers down to Costa Rica. We're going to do a big shindig down there. Drink a lot of beer, smoke a lot of cigars, do a lot of radio. But we went down there and we strung up an antenna that was for 630 meters because down there it was legal at the time. It was legal here with a special license, but it was legal down there at any time. So we strung up an antenna. It was like 910 feet long. We strung it across the farm we were on down there. And we did some whisper contacts with it. And that was fun. I, I, it was just fun because it was on a different band than I've ever been on before. But um, yeah, that was, um, it's, it's interesting to see when you do a whisper contact, you just basically send out a ping and then you look on the internet and see all the p stations who heard you. And uh, it was, it was kind of fun to see that, but yeah, that is definitely a long wire. It's about 910 feet long. <laughs> Going back to our long wire discussion too, this uh, Highland Craftwork says from ARRL Antenna Book, uh, wire antenna is not actually a long wire unless it is one wavelength or greater in length. Right. So that goes back to I think what Jason was saying with these with the twenty meter, twenty meter long yeah, wire, one one and a half wavelength long wire. Yeah, they're and they're they're often even you know much longer than that, two to three wavelengths or so. And when you do that, you you actually get some some pretty big lobes, you know, when you go more than a, a wave, I'm sorry, more than a, a half wavelength long, you start getting lobes uh, of radiation coming off the antenna at, you know, at uh, a full wavelength, you've got sort of four lobes, lobes, almost like clover leaf type pattern with a little bit of compression to the, the leaves. Um, and as you go longer and longer, 
uh, more, you know, multiple half wavelengths, those lobes compress in the direction along the antenna. So you end up getting a, a bit of gain basically in the direction the antenna goes and slightly, you know, off to the side as opposed to having most of your radiation broadside to the antenna. So that's definitely something to consider in setting up a long wire. You, you generally want the long wire pointed kind of toward or away from uh, what you're trying, the, you know, where you want your signal to go.